for free. Yeah. It is okay. what you have that you're going that to give. give. As parents, <coughs> some, some parents <coughs> don't even have the positive <coughs> background of, of, uh, of their childhood. So they don't know how to parent. So coming from the solution perspective, coming what is from the way forward? Yeah, thank you very much. Parents need to educate themselves, make themselves av available for uh, 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 positive parenting. Nobody is too old to, to go learn. for to, to learn. So there are there are two weeks, one week parenting courses. There's a there's a training that um, uh, my organization does uh, uh, called uh, child protection training which is super taxes for super parents. We go to mosques, to churches, to give this training. Parents should make themselves available for this. Some of us, we are building, uh, some people are building home, uh, big houses at home at the end of the day. These children might not even go home to live in these houses. Exactly. So we are, we, are, we, are, we are playing with our tomorrow. So it is what we give into our children. That's what we're going to gain back. You know? So another way forward is that as parents, we, we always say, oh, what I did not achieve, I want my children to achieve it. A lot of children does not have the brain to be a doctor, to be an engineer, to be a, 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 a professor somewhere. Whatever your child is good at, whatever it is that is the passion of your child, especially our male children, they can do exploit, but whatever their passion is, support them to achieve that goal. There are people that want to be the best caterer in the world, that want to be the best hairdresser and all that stuff. It won't bring a disgrace to the, to the society if we as parents support our children in, their, in the areas of their interest. It will be a win-win situation for us to do that because we must remember old age is coming and it is what we give into our children that, w that we're going to get. Nurturing our children is very, very important. Like we said, it's not a matter of uh, uh, to just a, a single parent, uh, uh, a parent with both, uh, family with both parents alone. All, the, all this together, we must work together to get the best out of our children. And our faith is also very important. You know, whatever faith you belong to, you know, li li like uh, the, 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 the Bible says that the Lord is the head of the church and the Father is the head of the home. So if we put it in perspective, not like a mother's right, father's right, or we have to make it 50-50. By this time we start making our own rule, it will not work. It will definitely affect the way in which we, we, we are bringing up our children. So the way forward, I believe we should all work together and work on that saying that says, it takes a village to raise a child. When you see someone else's child misbehaving out there or doing good, let us try to empower them. <laughs> and, and also, Mr. Mr. Perod, let us also start showcasing our children well, that are doing yeah. exploit, that are doing great things in the society. Yeah. Thank you. You know, absolutely. I mean, Yemi, I couldn't agree with you more in terms of the way forward. Yeah. I, I just Thank wanted you. to say uh, to a lot of young folks out there, if, if you, you're growing up and you're feeling pressured, uh, to be yeah. one way or the other, whether by your parents or, Peer your, or, or, or your friends or whatever yeah. they are doing. Just understand that, you know, you're only a teenager for a short time. Mm -hmm. And then after that comes life reality, mm -hmm. where you will have to live home, where you will have to get something to do and all of that. But I've seen people who were teenagers only five years ago. You know, they were 15, 16, now they're 21, 22, mm -hmm. just out of college one year. And the second year, they're already a manager in their job, you know. So this is a young guy who was a tear away, but they grew up in a single parent family. Mm. You know, you know, they have their four boys, they grew up and they all went eventually went to college to my surprise because I really didn't think they were gonna make it. Mm. You know, but what they did was to yes. learn discipline. They learned discipline and, uh, and and they begin to take responsibility for themselves. What they told me was that oh what I started doing was that you know if I was playing football I trained harder than everybody. You know, if I was in school, I'll put my assignment in before everybody. It was just the next thing before them. They were taking the next step before them. So put yeah. your foot in front of you. Whatever it is that you want to do tomorrow, do it. But do it with full conviction so that you can defend it even Perfect. before Trump. Yes. I don't care. You know, whatever it is that you want to do, don't be very confident. Mm. You know, be very confident in whatever it is that, that you're you doing. doing. Because really, doing well. most of the time, most of the time, all of the things that we see as a crisis may not even really be a crisis it's just that we are not in that situation and we don't understand it but one of the things i will tell you for free is that being in a gang you know where you so feel cool. that you are you are protected and you are in a code 
It's all a joke. We all went through it. Everybody mm -hmm. go through this phase. Mm -hmm. You feel you have no choice. You feel, oh, there is no way out. Well, you is. feel frightened and you are afraid. It's a lie. Talk to somebody. Just talk to somebody about what somebody said to you, the threat that was made to you. You know, so at the end of the day, we need to be able to understand that there is always a choice before you mm. as a young person. Whatever you are doing today, stand behind your action. You know, stand behind your action. Don't think that you will duck responsibility. So if you are out there doing terrible bad things to other people, be very confident that you can stand over it in 10, 20 years' time or even tomorrow. Because there is how you learn discipline and take responsibility. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking to some of those people out there who think they are some kind of gangsters. Mm. You are nothing. You are a child yes. and you are a coward mm -hmm. if you threaten people. If you think, oh, I have, uh, you have knives, and uh, oh, they do this in London, people get, have guns in America I'm and cool. all that, or you are cool. No, you are just a coward. Mm -hmm. Because really, what you are is that you are nothing. You have not achieved anything. Mm -hmm. You've not passed any exams. Mm -hmm. You don't have five degrees like I have. You don't, you don't have nothing. And then you have absolutely nothing to show. So this is, if that's the person that you think you are as a leader, leading young people into gangs, to go and fight other people into crime, then you are a disgrace. You know, because there are people out there who really are a disgrace. And this is speaking to those people. Yes. That, hey, we know who you are, and it's not going to be fun. It's and not going to be fun. There is always a way, and there is room to turn around. Yes, of course. There is room to turn around. You can get the parochial phone number. If you mm. need to speak with any one of us on this panel, our doors are open room to turn around the Speak choice to somebody. Is yours. i think having said that a lot of young stars are going to watch this you know on social media and i find that sometimes parents are not close enough to their children to the point where children can discuss the things that bother them with their parents yeah. I agree and sometimes they don't have any other close adult they can talk to mm -hmm. and so they wonder who can, can I, I talk, talk to? to and the person will understand and confidentiality will be assured and I will receive objective, non-judgmental so, advice. advice. And perhaps that person or people can, within the community, reach out to my parents and we can resolve issues. I'm saying that we can do that. If it's an initiative we have to deal with here, Happy Parrot is putting <coughs> this, you know, together. And, you know, his number is going to be displayed on this program. You can reach either of us. I am a solicitor myself. I deal with a whole lot of issues. I deal with children's law, family law, and all right. Mrs. Salako here is a school teacher, a mother, and a very well experienced educationist. Uh, Clement here too, very well experienced community worker. And of course, Mrs. Yemisi Ojo, who has been there and has worked with a lot of successful young people. So sometimes you need to reach out with people who can help you as a young, are you, you, know, are you, you know, the youngster there. Are you facing peer pressure? Are your friends forcing you to be part of their gang? Do you, you don't like what they do, but you feel like if you don't join them, you'll be le you know, left out, you know? You need to speak to somebody. Yeah. Have you found yourself in a situation where you're being blackmailed, where you're being pressurized, you know, where you're being forced to conform, or where you're being forced to be introduced to illicit drugs, to alcohol to be long to make, to, to make you feel like you're part of the group and you can't do anything about? Are you, do you have problems in school? I mean, are things getting to you, really? Do you need to talk to somebody? You know, do you feel like nobody listens to you at home? Do you feel like, you know, nobody, you know, cares? Young stars have those problems. And sometimes when there is no outlet, when there's nobody to talk to, and when there's nobody to relate to, they rebel. And it comes out in what we see. So we must also learn to listen to our children. We must also learn, just like Mrs. Ojo said, you know, that as a community, Perod, you have done the one aspect, most important aspect of this is highlighting this, you know, so that it can become out there for the community to see. And I'm sure lots of people are going to follow this program, listen to it. What will be our response thereafter? It's not, if it's not happening in your home, doesn't mean that it won't affect you, you know, because if you feel that, oh, my children are well, they're grown up, they're all graduates, I don't care. No, that is not, not true. Not at all. Because you're part of that community. Mm -hmm. As my people say, what affects the eye equally affects the nose. Mm -hmm. Agreed. From that note, I just want to thank everybody. And uh, just to say that uh, pay tribute to single mothers. 
we are not uh, we're doing well doing very well single Extremely mothers well. who are doing well, Extremely well. single mothers that we know are bringing up their children amazingly mm -hmm. beautiful children children are the selling the reason why we really have to highlight the issue of the single mothers is to call on the single mothers who are not within that group to please come in all parents single mothers everybody who are not within that group of people who are bringing up their children to excel to please step back think a little and say okay i've been doing that which is wrong i just want to join that group now that are making us proud i want to bring up children who are role models that's what we are talking about so that's what we are celebrating once again thank you amazing shout out to all single mothers who yes. are doing great things in Ireland. Island. Viewers, I just want to say thank you. Whosoever is watching this program, this is the beginning of a series of meetings that we are going to have. This has officially now been named the panel. So you're going to watch it in different uh, in different social media platforms out there, podcasts, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, everywhere. You're going to watch it there. So thank you for watching and for coming back listen to us and follow us on the journey towards finding a solution to some of the problems confronting us in Ireland. Thank you so much once again. Thank you. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen. Next week we will be bringing for your viewing pleasure an interview with Mrs. Salako on parenting and then Miss Nigeria Island. A child started in 2008. It's 10 this year. And of course, we will begin to bring you some of the interesting moments since 2008 when the journey started. We have to tell our stories. If we don't tell it, who will tell it for us? So ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have an interesting time as we move ahead on this journey. Until next week, when we come your way again, goodbye.